Hi friends, happy Wednesday. Hello, happy Wednesday. Hi, I'm Lisa Hetrick. I'm seeing friends popping in, saying hello. It's so good to see everybody. Holy smokes. Okay, it is the day after my release with Gina K Designs last night. The whole entire release was amazing. Super, super fun. I'm just really excited to be here. I have a really fun card today for you. A stamp set mashup using my new set called Beautiful Moments with Gina K Designs and one of my older sets in my collection called Always Delightful. I hope I got that right. I think I did. Always Delightful. So, so good to see people popping in. Um, we're going to get to it because I've got some really fun things to share today. The card today is all about, our card project today is all about stamping layers and building up layers without a lot of height. I'm always talking about that. Our stamps are the star of the show and doing, building on some of those water, washi watercolor effects that we talked about last week with stamp inks, um, yeah, we're going to do that again. So, okay, I see everybody popping in. Hi, everyone. Hi, Cherie, Rhonda, Irma, Jesse, Kathy, Janie, Kathy, Catherine, and Denise. Just so many fun names of people popping in. I'm just excited to be here. I'm so grateful you could join me. Um, let's get to it, right? Let's just go ahead to the down camera. I'm going to go through the supplies really quickly. Um the supply list will be linked. I don't have it linked below in the description right now, but it will be right after the, um, during the replay. It'll be there after the live. Holy moly, holy moly, holy moly. Okay, let's go ahead and get going. Let's head to the down camera. Okay, let's get started. My, the inspiration for today's card is this card that I did. Okay, so last night on the live, I shared several card projects um, on the live. So this one caught my eye and I wanted to do something a little bit more with you all and mash it up with my other stamp set. Now, at the end of the replay, I'm gonna talk about what's coming next week for the tutorial and um, how we're going to use the new stamp set. I'm just adjusting a little bit. How we're going to use the new stamp set and use the vessel. Okay, so let's do a quick, let's just dive in real quick. Now, my paper, all right, let's move that. That's our um, inspiration. So the paper stock I'm using today, I'm using an A2 size card. This is grass green from Gina K Designs. I'm I usually use jelly bean green and I know everybody knows that, but I'm digging this grass green and that's what I'm going to use today. I've got a piece of Gina K Designs um, layering white card stock and I cut it out with my <laughs> the master layouts die that I use all the time. Look at it. You can tell I use it all the time because it's getting bowed from using it so much, right? But I love it because I love that little stitching. So I'm using that as my base layer. I, my other, so I've got some more uh, layering weight cardstock for my stamping layers that we're going to do. And I'm also using Strathmore Ready Cut Watercolor in the cold press because we're going to do some watercoloring. Okay, so I've got a piece of that. I'm going to move that to my side here. And let's just bring in the stamp sets real quick before I bring in the inks. Here's the always delightful stamp set. Love it. So here's the thing about this stamp set and the new Beautiful Moment stamp set. We've got all of these beautiful botanicals that have the really long stems to them that are perfect for the, um, the vase, the glass vase, or you could put them in here. Today we're going to be cutting those stems a little bit and we're going to be mashing them up with these whimsical leafery that's in this set. Also gonna be using the brush stroke floral that's in this set paired up with the floral in this set. So yeah, super fun. 
Love it. These are the two sets I'm going to be using. I've got the coordinating dies. Um, the Always Delightful set's been around for a bit, so some of you may have it. Um, that set's really fun because it's got this uh, bell jar or cloche. Some people call it the cloche. Um, I've got a lot of really fun ideas for that set. But we've got a mishmash of the leafery from both of these sets in this tutorial today. I've got dies, dies from the Always Delightful set. And I've got dies from Always, um, the Beautiful Moment stamp set that we're going to be using as well. All right, let's dive in. So last, oh, no. <laughs> Before we dive in, let me show you the inks. I'm using Obsidian Amalgam, Wild Dandelion. Holy moly, I love me some Wild Dandelion. I'm still continuing with my blues and greens. So I've got Jelly Bean Green, Fresh Asparagus, Grass Green. I'm going to be doing a mixture of those three greens along with these blues for the leafery. Um, sea Glass, Tranquil Teal. And we're going to be doing some flower watercoloring with these two as well. So I'm continuing on with the discussion of last week that we had. Um, where I was doing, using the stamping inks for uh, watercoloring. All right, I'm going to bring it in. Friends, we're going to make this card. We're going to make this card. So you can see the mashup of all the leafery. I'm going to show you how to mash up the greens and the blues together. And we're going to do these, the stamp layering in the background. And we're going to do some more watercoloring. Now, this is a double layered watercolor project. Let's get going. Let's have some fun. Okay, I'm excited. Okay, so first, before we start the watercoloring and before we start stamping out all of our layers, we're going to start with our base layer. So let's just get going with the base layer first. I'm going to put all this over, I don't know, right there. I'm going to put it all right there. Okay, we're going to start with the base layer. And I'm starting with the stem. In the Beautiful Moments set, there's this stem that's perfect for this flower or this flower or any flower in your stash. It's just to create another long stem for your leafery in the vase. But we're gonna use it today to create a background. Okay, like a little crosshatch background. So when I illustrated this stamp, it is a double layer. There's two lines in this stamp. We're gonna be working our way up in color. Fresh asparagus is darker than grass green, has a little bit more yellow in it. The grass green is a little cooler. The jelly bean green has definitely got some yellow in it and it's a little bit cooler. I'm gonna use that first to create this cross hatch background because we're building layers up from the bottom. Oh, forgot about those sequins and embellishments. We'll talk about that in a minute. Okay, so I am just going to ink this up. I'm a lefty, I'm gonna move it out to the side here a little bit. I'm gonna ink this up. I'm gonna zoom in just a smidge because I feel like I'm out a little bit. Let's just zoom in. And I'm gonna start with my horizontal lines, then I'm going to do my vertical lines. Okay. And I'm not measuring, I'm being incredibly random, and I'm just creating a pattern underneath this. Stamps are the star of the show in my projects. So I'm going to turn this this way. So I've got a nice little pattern going. And I'm just going to go ahead and just like, tie up some of those loose ends and just randomly pattern create this pattern mm, I'm not really worried about that I'm gonna come over here and just kind of stamp something here and yeah maybe right there just kind of let that be that way okay let's clean up let's clean up let's try the clean as you go Chiming in to remind me to catch the replay looks like a pretty project. Hi, Jane. Good to see you. We'll catch you on the replay. No worries, friends. We always have 
the replay. Replay, replay, replay. Okay, so this is a stem in the stamp set, right? So I'm encouraging you to take a peek at things in your stash and think of some alternate ways to use them. I like to use them for backgrounds, to create patterns. Now, things are gonna get a little bit ugly here because um, I'm gonna do another layer. Now, I want, I've got this big honkin' brush stroke floral. Let's just bring it in so that you can see. You can see that mine is well loved. In the Always Delightful stamp set, there's two big honkin' brush strokes flowers. And these were, I illustrated these based on my signature. I had this signature move with my paintings and it's these brush stroke, brush dancing florals. So I created these um, for the stamp set. We're gonna be using this one. You can see that it's got that kind of watercolory kind of effect to it. Like it. I'm gonna bring in a little bit of yellow. Wild dandelion. My favorite, favorite yellow. Okay. And I'm gonna stamp this three times, right here, right here, and right here. And what that's going to do is just kind of give us a little bit of a base of a pop of yellow. We're also building up our layers, creating this pattern, knowing full well, I'm going to be putting stamped layers over top. Now, let's go ahead and clean up that stamp real quick. Pop it over here on the side, and let's just take a peek here at this layer. So you can see, this layer looks like a hot mess, but remember, this is our base layer on the card. You look at these three stamps, and you can see that they kind of have a watercolory effect to them without doing anything, without adding water. We've got this crosshatch pattern going with that double line stem that creates a little bit more visual interest. But right now, it kind of looks like a hot mess. So it's okay. It's all gonna come together, I promise. Okay, let's go ahead in. And now, before we start the watercolor, um, Catherine just said that layer looks pretty, just like that. I think it does. But sometimes, you know, sometimes things look a little messy until they don't. All right. Now I'm going to move into stamping out the leafery. And we're going to have some fun with the leafery. I'm going to pair it up with these two colors. So I'm going to stamp out all of my leafery, then I'll die cut it, and then we're going to get to the watercolor and then die cut it. Now, a little hint so that I can spend some time with the watercolor. Um, I've already pre-cut some things, so we can keep some things moving along. Hi, Mindy. Good to see you here. Okay, we're going to do a combination of colors with our leafery. We're going to use grass green and tranquil teal. And I'm going to mash those two colors up to create the leafery. Now, I've got all these little leafery bits. Let's put them in from the, these are from the Always Delightful stamp set. Let's see. Some of these I'm just gonna do in the green. These open lines I'm just gonna do in the green. But these ones that have a little bit of detail. So let's go ahead and get going. I've got this open line leafery piece. Let's start off with our grass green. Okay, I'm going to turn my paper this way. I'm just going to stamp everything from bottom up. And there's no rhyme or reason to this. There's no real lesson here other than I've got a big piece of Gina K. White. I'm going to stamp out all of my leafery bits because those are going to get die cutted. And then I'm going to be popping them into the card. So let's go ahead, get this little leafery bit. Love this. It's very, it's super whimsical, but it's also open line. Okay. So the fact that it's open line is going to give some nice contrast to the solid leafery bits that we have. 
let me go ahead and stamp this one out. Another whimsical open line. And now we're going to get a little bit. Holy smokes. Oh, look at that. I just noticed. Huh. I just noticed that I could sit my inks on top of that thing. It's kind of funny, the things that you've, you uh, realize on lives. Okay. Now I need to get a different block here. Let's get this block. Now this stamp has all this leafery and then it has these cute little dots at the top. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp my leafery. I'm going to bring this over into the camera a little bit. Stamp my leafery. You can see I've just, I'm not putting the whole image. Just stamping my leafery in the green. Then I'm going to come over here and pop it in the teal. And I'm just doing both colors on it. And it looks funky. It's not realistic. It's whimsical and it's fun. And we're doing it. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing with this piece. Just going to ink that up. Then ink that up. Ooh, let's do that again. Let's get a little green. And yes, I am mixing inks. I know. That might be like a big faux pas. But eh, it's ink, it's paper, it's stamps. We're going to have some fun. Let's just take a peek at this leafery. You can see we've got a little bit of graduation of colors, a little boogery bot spot right there. That's okay. Now I'm going to grab my bigger leafery pieces. This big honking piece of leafery, I'm going to do in fresh asparagus. So this one's going to be my darkest one. Let's grab my fresh asparagus. I'm not so worried about my leaves. I'm going to be trimming off quite a bit of that bottom leaf. So I'm not so worried about the way that's going to stamp out, but let's just go ahead and stamp that down. Okay. Yeah, I kind of schmutzed it a little bit too much. Let's do it again. I have a habit of pushing too hard on my inks. Guess what? We don't have to do that. There we go. All right, that one's not as great either, but who cares? We're going to run with it. Okay, that was my fresh asparagus. And that's all I'm going to use that for, that one piece of leafery. Now, I'm going to come in with the other pieces of leafery. Now, this fun piece of leafery in the Beautiful Moments set has like a little bluebell flower, a little star flower, and a little piece of leaf. So... We're going to go ahead and ink this up a little bit in the grass green. Then the top is going to be in the tranquil teal. Turn my paper this way, trying to maximize my paper here a little bit. And then I've got that gradation of color. Just having some fun with the color. Okay, that covers that one. Now let's get this one. This piece of leafery has these cute little like um, berries and then that long stem. So I could do red, but I'm not going to. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to fit that in right there. And then I'm going to drop that into the tranquil teal, come back and just kind of, ah, look at that. Let's do it again. A little bit of grass green, tranquil teal, Stamp it right here. Did not stamp it very well. Let's bring in another piece of paper. Let's do it again. Kind of boogered up that one little spot. This is me not being, um, trying really hard not to be heavy handed. It's the left hander in me. We talked about left handers last week. I tend to be pretty heavy handed with a lot of things. So I'm not able to get, and I'm not able to, um, back off a little bit. And I'm trying really hard to back off so that I can get that in. There we go. <laughs> One, two, three. Fourth, tar fourth time is a charm, right? I got it. I got it. Let me just cover these up so I don't put my hand in them. Pop these over here. All right. Now, a couple things about the dies I want to share. I've pre-cut all these. Spoiler alert, right? I've pre-cut all these, but that's okay. 
couple things I want to share about the long stem dies in the Beautiful Moments stamp set. It's going to feel a little scary, <laughs> maybe, because you can't see that stem once you put it down on your die. But trust me, it's going to be okay. All right? It'll be okay when you stamp it out. Um, that's just one thing I noticed when I was playing with them. This die has that little tiny, see there's like a little wave. And there is, you're kind of just lining it up and you can see that there's a little tiny um, triangle in there. And when you line it up, tape it down. I will be honest, I kind of don't care if that stem shows up unless I really, really want it. If I really want it to show up in my die, when I die cut it out, I make sure that I tape this side down and tape this side down. But I'm kind of a winger a lot of times. I wing it with these things and I run them through my die cutter. Same thing with this one. You're really just going to worry about lining up the tops in order to get that bottom in where it's supposed to be. It's going to feel a little scary because you can't see it. But trust me. It fits and it works, okay? Okay, so all of these pieces I pre-die cut. And I'm going to show you, I did not, I did not, I pre-die cut them. We're going to be using them. And I didn't line everything up. And I'm not worried about it because I'm going to be trimming off quite a bit of it. But look at these fun, fun pieces of leafery. The colors are compatible. They're also super compatible with what you're, we're using in our color palette. These aren't usual looking pieces of leafery. Leafery is green, but I love that tranquil teal. And I like these, this color palette for when, this wintry kind of feel. Now, let's go ahead in, where is my, here it is. Let's go ahead in with our piece of watercolor paper. And I want to talk about the double layered watercolor technique with the big, let's move some inks out, with the big honkin' flower. Now the flower, the big honkin' flower in the Beautiful Moments stamp set has a two-step stamp to it. So if you just want a straight up two-step stamp, you've got that solid layer to do it. Um, and in the inspiration today, that's what I did. See how I did that two-step stamping? But you can, they will line up exactly. Or if you're like me, I always turn the solid one a little bit different than the line art version to get more of a wonky, a wonky effect. Um, so I like that. We're only going to work with this one right now. We're going to do a little bit of water coloring. So I've got Tranquil Teal and Sea Glass. Let's open them up. I'm going to bring in, I've got a little brush and I have some water. Now, last week on the live, and if you didn't catch the live, no worries, catch the replay. I had a bonus lesson, right? We did a little bit of pattern stamping. And also in the lesson, we did water coloring, washi water coloring messy watercoloring, right? With Gina K inks. We're doing it again today because I like it, but a little bit of a twist. All right. We're going to stamp this flower out in the tranquil teal. I'm going to give it a quick clean, dip it into the sea glass, stamp it out, dip it into the sea glass again, stamp it out. And now we're going to do a little bit of water coloring. Let me close these up. And watercolor paper, Gina K inks, super reactive, right? I'm just going to hit this little bit of water. I'm hitting this, just kind of activating. Look at that tranquil teal just going, right? I've got a, a brush. This is a number three, just a real tiny brush here. And I'm going to start moving. I'm going to add a little bit of water and doing a little bit of washy watercolor and let that color move a little bit. I'm going to do the same over here. 
for the sea glass, but you can see that the sea glass is very super light. So I'm going to take a little bit of this over here and bring it over. And bring it over and just let it mash out. Now I'm going to take a little bit and just wipe off or dab off some of the wetness. And this is cool. I'm digging it. Taking some of this tranquil teal over here, bringing it over here, letting this just be kind of messy. Now, this looks like a hot mess, and I just kind of washy washed it out, right? We did that last week, and we kind of left it be. I'm going to add one more little thing in here. Take a little bit of that wild dandelion, and I'm going to drop it in on this sea glass, just a smidge. See how I just dropped it in, let it blend, let it do its thing. Now, I'm going to hit this with a little bit of heat off camera. So hang loose. We're going to heat this up and dry it completely. I didn't bring the heat tool to the camera because it's super loud. And it doesn't take long, but I am just like frying it, like letting it just dry completely. sort of right sort of okay so kind of a hot mess right let's take a peek with watercolor so i'm working with inks dye inks water-based dye inks watercolor is the same when you watercolor it'll fade back it'll go back once it's dry so that gives us opportunity to um add some layers <laughs> Heidi just said, you always make a hot mess look amazing. That's funny. Well, this is the reason why I say hot mess is because you might be in this part of the technique and you're like, this is a hot mess. Are we going to get somewhere? Right. But yeah, we're going to get somewhere. So now I'm going to do what's called like what I call like a double layering. So I've stamped these out. I've done some watercolor. Um, I'm going to take my stamp ink it up in the tranquil teal, turn it like almost even 180 degrees, stamp over top. And now I'm getting this double layer and I'm getting the benefits of the watercolor, the washi watercolor underneath. And I am digging this, loving it because it is a messy washi watercolor but it kind of gives a lot of layers to this flower, which is kind of like, that's kind of like a paper white flower now. The reason why I like to draw so many flowers is because I feel like you can change the color, you can change how you stamp with it, and you can make this one flower look like any kind of flower out there. So a lot of my flowers are super graphic, and that's why, because you can make them, I don't draw them to be something specific, even though they kind of start that way from the inspiration. But I draw them because you have lots of room and versatility to make them into something fun. Okay, so if I wanted to stamp it, correct, like exactly like this, this would be the way. I'm going to turn it like 180 degrees, just kind of lining up that center. This is a little bit off but I get that double layer. Ah, I'm so digging this. I'm loving it. Same thing with this one. Gonna flip it, get that double layer. So that first layer that felt like a hot mess is all of a sudden not a hot mess, right? Not a hot mess. Now, the die. The die for this stamp you're going to be like, how do I cut this out? Because it's a little weird. I can't because we did 180 degrees and it kind of doesn't match. First of all, look at that flower. Look at those layers and look at that washi watercolor. Like how fun is that? Ugh. So when you're lining up the die, what you're going to do is just find one of the layers of the, die, of the stamp and then cut it. You're going to be able to preserve all the layers that are inside. 
and you might lose a, flu, lose a few that are on the outside. And your final effects are going to be this. Check it out. Oh, let's move this out. Love this. Look at these flowers. We've got these washy, especially with this tranquil, twe tranquil teal. Tranquil teal is a great, like, in watercolor, in your watercolor sets, it's probably, it'll be called like phthalo blue or a turquoise. But look at that turquoisey color and look at those layers. So you have options with this stamp. And I love that. You have the option to just stamp it out straight. Stamp it two-step stamping. Or do this double layer. Washy watercolor. Ah, okay. I really love it. And I guess I'm just getting really excited. Okay, now, now let's go ahead. Let's come back. We got our card base. We have some glue. I'm going to cover up this water before I... We've got some washy flowers. And I also have some sequins and embellishments. So let's go ahead and make sure my glue is gluey. And it is. Awesome. And I've got some foam tape here. So before, I'm going to take my card and just kind of bend it a little bit. Not that that is going to help. I love this card stuck. I'm loving this grass green. Now look at this grass green color paired up with that jelly bean green. And we've used um, fresh asparagus. So all of those colors really are super compatible with each other. So I love it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of glue on the back here. Just a little bead of glue. I love this. Um, these are from Gina, these fine tip things. They've really helped me uh, control my, my heavy-handed glue squeeze. Just lining this, uh, kind of eyeballing this up. Hello, we've got some more people popping in. Hi. Hi, Karen from Alabama. Hello, hello. Okay. So here's the card. Here's the card base. And now we're like, all right, all right, what are we going to do? Right? So we're going to end up taking these three flowers and they're going to cover over top of these three flowers. So these three flowers, I intentionally, when I was doing the pattern, you were with me, I intentionally did them in a three. Last week on the live, I talked, I did that bonus lesson and we talked about pattern stamping and everything was done in threes, in layers, in different colors. And there's a reason for that. It helps give me the visual cue of where I'm going to put these next set of flowers. And kind of cue them up in a little triad cluster. So let's start. Starting is half the battle. We're committing. We're going right to, and I don't even have a pair of scissors. Nice. Let's grab a pair of scissors. We're creating this bouquet or this cluster of flowers and leafery. Let's get out all of our leafery bits. Got all these leafery bits. Now remember, you could just not die cut all these leafery bits. You could just stamp them right on your piece. I have a lot of tutorials like that. Um, love it. But now we're going to use all these elements and we're going to build from the bottom up. So we've got these layers here these stamped layers, and then we're going to build from the bottom up. Heidi just said, Lisa, I just got the Paul Rubens 24 pan watercolor per your recommendation. Yay! I'm so glad. So Heidi had asked me a question, and I'm actually going to cover this in next week's video. I'm going to talk about this while I'm just kind of cutting some of these pieces. Um, she asked if I could do a video where I show some of the... Um, lower priced watercolor sets or, and I recommended the Paul Rubin set. I actually have it right here. I recommended this Paul Rubin set and I've used this in a couple videos because it is high, it's pretty high end artist grade, 
for our, what I would call our uh, crafting price budget. Um, so she asked if I would consider using one of those sets for watercolor. And we're going to do that next week. And I'll talk a little bit more about that um, after this card. But yes, I'm going to just kind of show a little bit um, of some of my favorite watercolor sets for paper crafting that are a little bit more um, what I would call budget friendly, but high higher end. So love it. Okay, so I've got a little bit of foam tape on the back of this beautiful one. I'm going to I'm going to line it up right here. I've got like this arc right there. I'm just going to line it up and I've only put a little bit in the middle because I, I want to nest some things underneath it. So I'm going to go ahead, pop a little bit of foam tape on the back of this. Kind of nest that out here. Let that stick out just a smidge. And the beautiful thing we've got going here is we've got these pops of yellow. We also see our crosshatch pattern love. We've got that crosshatch pattern from the stem, created with the stem. And then I'm going to pop this one right in here just to kind of create this little cluster of three. Mm, let's just turn that a smidge because I still want to see those yellows peeping. So we've got the cluster of three of the big honking brushstroke floral in the back. It's a solid it's in dan wild dandelion. You've got good contrast. It's popping, but it's on that base layer. So we've got this illusion right now of all of these layers being built up and creating a lot of extra texture and dimension for the card already. Patterns, layers, not a ton of height. I just geeked out there a little bit. Sorry about that. All right, now I'm going to take some of, we're going to start to nest some of the botanicals around this bouquet and it's going to feel like it might be a little too much but nah never enough leaf free never enough leaf free all right so see how i wasn't so worried about the die cutting of that stem because i ended up trimming it off and i'm not really worried about it next week um, i'll show you how i'm gonna go I'm going to be a little more worried about it because I want it to show up a little bit more in the vase. So I'm going to like, this is the grass green, uh, fresh asparagus. So we're going to see, I'm going to nest this up underneath here. Let's get up underneath there. I got a little glue, little bloop of glue already. I'm going to nest that. Uh, yep. Let's nest that right there. So we've got this triad going, this triad going. I've got a little bit of whooshing right here. A little movement there. I've got this one right here. So open line, solid. Putting them together helps create some contrast and a little bit of extra texture. These are the things, these are just like the little geeky design things that just give your card a little more, a little more oomph. How do I want this to be? Let me just pop this under. I think I'm just going to let it kind of float out a little bit, like right there. So it's peeping a little bit. It's going this way and we've got this way. I might not have any room for my sentiment, but we'll see. We'll see. Now I've got this one. You can see that I cut this. When I cut this, I didn't tape it. But guess what? If you don't, you can always just go in with your scissors if that bothers you didn't really bother me, but I'm going to go in and just show you. You can always go in with your scissors and trim that away. Now, this one is kind of got a shape that's going this way with that leafery, the little bluebell. And I kind of want it to come up and kind of go off of my edge here. So I know I'm not going to need all that. I'm just going to toss it. Put a little bit of glue, 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 glue. Do, 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 do. Just kind of nest that up underneath here. And let that kind of do its thing. It's floating off the edge a bit. So we've got whoosh 
and I'm starting to do a little bit of nesting with the leafery here. Now I'm going to take this big honking piece, just trim, and just start to lay, lay these pieces in. Okay. Now the Beautiful Moments stamp set, I believe sold out last night, but Gina did text me and tell me there were more were on the way and ordered. So I'm grateful to all of you. Ooh, I need to trim that a little bit more for your support of Gina and the release. And yeah, super excited, but it's coming back in. So if you're interested in this stamp set and you didn't get it on the release last night, you can um, make sure you join the wait list because the second it arrives, you will get the um, notification. Notification. <laughs> Catherine said whoosh and washy. You're expanding my vocabulary. Yes, washy washy, whoosh, and big honking is another one that everybody tells me that I say a lot. So, yeah, I do. I say funny things because I just get excited. I'm just nesting this in here. Just a little more leafery getting nested. It might feel like, if this feels like it's a little too much for you, don't put so much in. I have a lot of leafery in my stamp collection. I'm going to nest this one over here because I feel like we need a little something popping out this way. Boop, 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 boop. Right? We've got all these, like, things going. We've got some nesting here. Then I've got this baby right here. And I love this leafery. So we've got a combination of leafery here. Ah, Cherie said leafery. That's another one of my words, right? Combination of solids, line arts, put together, okay? Now this piece of leafery feels like it could just be, you know, like I could have put two in, but I'm just going to put one in and just kind of hang it right there out a little bit on that angle just kind of going off the edge there ah i'm loving this let's go ahead and add a little something more to it so not a lot of height unless you want it to be right because i didn't glue i didn't glue a lot of these pieces down really loving this i'm going to come in with some sequins and embellishments me the sequin challenged girl sparkling sea i love this sparkling sea because it really is beautiful with the sea glass and the tranquil teal. So we're using it. We're going to use it. And I'm just going to put a few out here. If anybody could recommend a storage solution for sequins, because this is my storage solution, this, this the packaging that it comes in. And sometimes what happens is you get a hole in the packaging that it comes in and you end up with sequins everywhere, which, you know, happens. Okay, so we've got a little bouquet spray of flowers here with those pops of yellow underneath and that cross hatch that's giving that extra level of texture and dimension. And I'm digging it. I'm just going to put some um, little glue boops down here. One, two, three, four. Let's do that. Let's see what that looks like. And I've got the Gina K, this tool, the picker tool. I love it. This little wax thing. Love this tool. I feel super successful with this tool. I feel a little less sequined placement challenged. Um, I don't know if Mindy's still here. She uses, I don't know how she does it, but she uses tweezers. And friends, I can't get the hang of the tweezer. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to put another one on here, and I don't have a bloop of glue. I am super, super tweezer challenged. So these, this tool is really useful to me. My brain does not want to doesn't understand or want to know or figure out how to make those tweezers that go in opposite directions. I don't know what they're called. Um, work. Um, <laughs> okay. Look at this. I oh, love it. All right. Now I want to use 
I want to talk, I want to use this, be gentle with yourself. I think I can fit that in there. I might be able to, I might not be able to. But I also wanted to share, okay, this stamp set, the Beautiful Moment stamp set, and to just kind of give you a sense, let me um, let me zoom out just a smidge so you can see the whole set. Oops, not that much. There we go. Okay, so um, illustrating the stamp sets for the Gina K line in the collection, we, all the illustrators, we work like six to eight months ahead. So this stamp set, when I illustrated it, I knew it was going to be coming out either at the end of the year or towards the very beginning of the year. And I was really thinking about easing into 2023, which is all of a lot of what I've said over the last couple um, lives. And be gentle with yourself was just my reminder to you to ease into 2023 and collect beautiful moments. Take your time and be gentle with yourself. There's always I got a little bit of paper towel here. There's always like a lot of stuff in the media in the new year, right? Lose weight, get on the treadmill, join Weight Watchers, all the things, right? All the things that the internet and the world's telling us to try to do to improve ourselves. Well, I'm here to tell you, you are fine just the way you are. And um, I want you to be gentle with yourself. So that was the whole intention of this. The, this whole stamp set was being gentle with yourself. People are giving some really great solutions for storage. Thanks, everyone. I'm going to definitely go back and look at some of those storage solutions. Um for my embellishments. Be gentle with yourself. Love, love that as a constant reminder to us all. I've got a little notepad here. I'm just going to stamp this out to make sure I had a piece of paper towel sticking on the stamp. I want to make sure that piece of paper towel is gone. Let's see if I can squeeze this in. I don't know. I don't think I gave myself a lot of room. But we're going to give it a go. Be gentle with yourself. Let's see if I can pop that in. I'm using that little piece of leafery to kind of line that up right in that corner. I'm using that stitching too. Oh, I really just squeezed that in, didn't I? It's not fantastic, but you know what? It's, what does Gina always say? It's better than horrible. I love that. When she says that, I'm already starting to giggle. When she says that, it just makes me laugh. And it, look, in the card, this is just a great little reminder. One of the things about the card, too, is you could create this little composition. And it, pop it in a frame. Give it to a friend. So he or she can kind of keep it on their desk as a little reminder to be gentle with yourself. That's my reminder. That's why I created the, this beautiful moment stamp set. It literally is a reminder to be gentle with yourself. Collect beautiful moments, beautiful things. Let's bring in the original inspiration. You can see I barely gave myself some room there too. Loving this. Heidi just asked, Lisa, do you sell your cards at all? No, I actually don't. I actually don't sell them. But I'm happy to send it to you, Heidi, because I got two. So I'm happy to send it to you. Um, be gentle with yourself. And I know, Heidi, you were, you were on the wait list for the new set. So I'll DM you. Anyway, I'm loving the way this came out. Loving it. Loving it. Now, briefly, briefly, for next week, I talked a little bit in the middle about uh, sharing some of my favorite watercolor sets that are budget friendly and by watercolor set. Now I've been showing a lot of watercolor with your inks because I like, I'm a watercolor person. So I'm always looking for mediums, but I'm going to show you, especially if you're just getting started in watercolor, some of the sets that are great and that are budget friendly. Um, I do have many of you know this already, but if you don't know, I have a website called craftyourjoy.com. I have an online classroom. And I have a lot of watercolor classes in there. And one of my newest water, latest watercolor classes, Watercolor Wonderland, that's like everything you ever wanted to know about watercolor. 
and then some. It is my biggest, largest, most comprehensive class ever. If you're interested, head over to crafterjoy.com. Take a look at it. Watch the video. Okay, so next week, we are going to do a tutorial, and I'm going to mash it up with something else in my stamp set line, but we're going to focus on the vessel, the jar, and I'm going to show you how to layer those two water stamps in the jar, and also how to extend your leafery. So like if I'm stamping and it doesn't go all the way down, I'm showing you how to do that. And we're going to talk and I'm going to do some water coloring of the vessel and show you how to get like that washy washy kind of watercolor effect. So that's coming next week. The live is going to be Wednesday. So stay tuned for that. All right, I'm going to head up to the front camera and just kind of I'm just looking for my mouse. Hello. Hello. All right. So a couple things. If you're at all interested in when I go live, um, I do post it in social media. I do post it in the Gina K Designs group. And I also share it with my email subscribers. If you're at all interested in getting on my email list, I would love to have you. I also have a free community in my Craft Your Joy classroom. Totally free to you. Comes with a free class in my classroom. So you can kind of get a sense more of what I teach and my style of teaching. It's very similar to the way I teach here on the lives. So fun. Um, next week, we're going to go live on Wednesday. Pretty sure it's going to be around 1130. Might be noon. So email subscribers, you'll get that. You'll see that out in social media. I'm always not super sure what everyone sees in social media and when I put things out in Instagram, Facebook, and all the things. So that's why the email list is important because you, it drops right into your email box. Boom. Okay. One more thing. If you'll indulge me, I do have a, I am planning monthly classes in whimsical watercolor where we're hand painting and making cards. And I'm teaching you and giving you the confidence to hand paint whimsical things. And I'm taking all of these big techniques into bite, bite, bite sized lessons. And that's starting on February 1st. This is the first project. We're going to hand paint together this hot air balloon. And I'm going to teach you washi watercolor and how to do these rosettes. There's more information about that in the email list that went out. Super affordable classes. And it's also at craftyourjoy.com. Okay. Thanks so much for joining me today, friends. I did this in an hour. I literally did not think that was going to happen today. But I'm so grateful to all of you for joining me today. I hope that this tutorial gave you lots of value, lots of inspiration. Grab the stamp sets that you have. If you have these, great. You don't have beautiful moments yet because it just came out last night. But any other stamp sets in my line or any other stamp sets in your sash. And you can repeat the techniques that we did today. Okay. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you have a really fantastic rest of your week. I'm so grateful to all of you for joining me and taking the time to be with me on the live and or the replay. You know, if you have any questions at all along the way, please feel free to reach out to me, either in direct message, email, all the places. And many of you do. And I answer, it's me answering, me, me, me. So, all right, friends. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you have a fantastic day and a fantastic rest of your week. I love you all. Thanks so much. So, so grateful. And don't forget, craft your joy. Bye, friends.